Last week, the sugar daddy of the nation, Praveen Gordon, went in front of the nation to table his annual budget speech for 2014. Now, I know some of you are like, Loiso, why now you're going to call her all sugar daddy? What has he done to you? What do you know about him? No, nothing like that. I just mean that he's the guy who gives us our pocket money, right? He decides how much money the government is going to take from our pockets and how it's going to be spent. We all know it's tough times out there, and it's not easy to get up on the podium and tell people how much money we're taking from them to buy two-ply toilet paper for the Nkanta household. Now, we could go and show you what the experts had to say about the budget, and we could listen to some deficit, blah, blah, capital expenditure, blah, blah, blah. You know what's better than that. How can you? I mean, we want to hear what the ordinary people had to say. And, like, the social ground is, is better now. I just, we would like to have more. I also like the fact that he talked about putting up the, the, the price of alcohol because there's lots of alcohol abuse in my community, especially school children and teenagers. It doesn't provide houses, it doesn't provide decent sanitation or decent service delivery. It only serves the rich. It's a budget for the rich, by the rich, of the rich. Someone's angry. Okay, seems like people know as much about budgeting as Mampela Rampela knows about politics. We thought we'd try to experiment this year and try to explain the budget to you in an easy to understand way. So welcome to a segment we call Budgeting with Braloiza. So the first thing you need to know, the size of the budget this year is about 1 trillion 250 billion rand, or as Jacob would say, 11 billion 49 rand. Yes, that's a large number. No wonder Julius is trying to get his hands on that piece of pie. Sounds like a lot. It sounds like a lot of money because you're sitting at home going, that's a lot of money. But in comparison to the U.S. budget this year, which is $3.7 trillion, which is like 3.7 billion, billion, billion rands, and we're borrowing 140 billion rand just to cover everything. Can you imagine what would happen if our debit order to pay this amount bounced? No one would pick up the calls. Jacob, where are you? Tell them I'm not here. I'm at home. If you had to guess, what do you think we're spending most of the money on? We're spending $254 billion on education. That's a lot of trees we're going to buy, right? Don't you think? Because we all know our children are learning under trees. You know, people like, hey, if you want to learn maths, go under the plum tree. If you want to learn English apple tree. Yeah, there's a lot of education under these trees. We're spending 80 billion this year on police. So if you are thinking of going out there for service delivery strikes, you will see. Hmm? Because 80 billion buys a lot of rubber bullets and tear gas. So don't say I did not warn you. I care for you, South Africa. So I'm warning you. Some good news, spending on social grants is set to be at 144 billion, about 10% higher than last year. But don't be making babies because there won't be enough money for grant money. It's not enough. It's not enough. 15 billion on AIDS. Yes, that sounds like a lot of money. But we have under, just under, just under 6 million HIV positive people. It doesn't seem like much, right? It's not enough for AIDS. So that means AIDS is here for a while. It's going to stick around. It's going to have a cup of tea. Go just hang around and be chilled. We're spending 8 billion rand on land claims this year. So you farmers out there, good times. Good times. I don't know how far that's going to go, though, since last year we spent 1 billion buying a game farm next to the Kruger Park. This means there's going to be 8 happy farmers out there. Allah, Allah, this apartheid thing is paying off. And you poo protesters, the government has smelt you and is going to spend 2 billion rand to eradicate the bucket system. So please, no more, guys. Eh? We are having cappuccinos in town. Now you are coming with poo. I mean, you can't do that. You can't do that. And as you can see, Previn is working overtime, doing his best to make sure money goes to the right places. But is the money going to reach where it's supposed to go? Is it? Is it? Really? Is it going to reach? Okay. News that moves. ENCA.com.